The No Fate Channel. Checking in, and I am once again coming to you with a pre-workout review from MyProtein.com. I have their limited edition Eddie Hall Beast pre-workout, and we are going to dive into the taste, the cost, the ingredients, and most importantly, how it handles in the gym. If this is your first time to the channel, welcome aboard. Give the video a like, hit the red subscribe button. On this series, I just review supplements on every episode to help you decide if it's right for your fitness goals, your health needs, and most importantly, that hard earned money. We love my protein at this channel because they are the lowest cost provider of supplements. I review so many of their products. Most of them are very good. There's always a few clunkers out there, but we do honest reviews here, and that's why you came to today's video. If you're not familiar, Eddie Hall is a longtime strongman competitor. He at one point owned the deadlift world record, I believe. I think that has since been taken over by the guy who played um, the mountain on Game of Thrones, Thor. And recently, he actually had a boxing match with Thor, a real world boxing match, went six rounds. And even though he lost, he went the distance and there's no shame in that. He laced up those gloves and, and just went to town. In years past, we have seen a number of fitness celebrities and even online celebrities doing collaborations in order to capitalize on their name and likeness. Just recently, we saw Matt Does Fitness kind of got his own protein under my protein. We've seen the Nelk Boys and Bradley Martin put out their own pre-workouts with, with some sense of success. We've seen um, More Plates, More Dates kind of set up his own supplement company, Gorilla Mode pre-workout and we've also seen the review bros uh collaborated with huge nutrition to put out wrecked extreme that was a really well received pre-workout that i thought was exceptional but unfortunately most of those collaborations are um fly by nights oftentimes the people are just putting their likeness and their name on a bottle and they're not really kind of getting in the weeds of what the ingredients panel is so is eddie hall's beast pre-workout just a money grab or is it going to deliver so one bottle 20 servings one serving is a massive 45 grams so let's break it down we've got 60 calories 12 grams of carbohydrates those come from five grams of sugar dextrose and then pea starch i will say carbohydrates in a pre-workout are not always a bad thing they will help you with pumps they'll help you with energy and if, unless you're on a diet or a caloric surplus uh 12 grams of carbohydrates not a bad deal frankly i tend to work out better with carbohydrates in my system but i do know some people do like to work out fasted obviously if you're on a diet or purposely on a deficit in terms of your caloric intake you don't want to drink your calories okay so then we've got uh, choline, uh, sorry, citrulline matrix at eight grams. So eight grams of L-citrulline would be a massive dosage, but they've got L-citrulline and L-citrulline malate two to one ratio. And they don't tell you which is which. L-citrulline malate, um, I find hits faster than L-citrulline, but it's not as pure and it does, it is basically cheaper. I don't like the fact that they have a matrix in here. I wish that they would just tell us what the breakdown was. Um, beta alanine 6.4 milligram 6.4 grams that is over the 3.2 clinical dose so that's going to give you a lot of tingles and i don't necessarily know if more is better with regards to beta alanine especially where this is like not just a little more than the 3.2 that we like to see but it's double uh creatine monohydrate which i'm always a fan of and it's harder and harder to get uh six grams that's a great dosage betanine and hydrus i'm a fan of as well for pumps and for uh physical performance 2.5 grams now L-glutamine, that is an amino acid that I happen to like, but I know there's very limited uh, clinical study regarding L-glutamine. I know it's good for gut health. A lot of people think it's good for your immune system. HMB powder, two grams. That's an expensive ingredient that has been shown to help you retain muscle mass during long and arduous workouts. Usually the clinical dose is 3.2 grams, but the fact that they even put two grams in here, uh, I'm seeing it as a bonus. Now for focus, we've got N-acetyl L-tyrosine at 750 milligrams. I wish they put in just straight L-tyrosine, but 750 milligrams, solid dose. KSM 66, 300 milligrams. That's excellent. That's been known to help de-stress you as well as help improve a lot of other bodily functions in men. Caffeine and hydrous, 200 milligrams. 
200 milligrams, that's two cups of coffee. And for me, that's my sweet spot. That's really where I perform very well. A little bit too much more than that. And I will get twitchy if I'm working too fast during my sets. Too less than that. And it really doesn't move the needle very much. I happen to really like that 200 milligram mark. I know a lot of people want to see 300 to 400. But keep in mind, that does tend to wear down on the adrenal system quite uh, quickly. Teocrine, 50 milligrams. That is going to bounce well and be a, a kind of a, a synergetic effect with regards to the caffeine to help you kind of get a little bit more energy out of that. For absorption, they've got astrogen and bioprene um, to help you absorb those supplements. As far as the ingredients panel, it's not that bad. It could be a lot worse compared to what I've seen. Let's quickly talk about taste and cost before I dive in. I know a lot of people don't care what their supplements taste like. I do because I pay for them. I will tell you that this is Raspberry Ripple. And you better love, not like, love raspberry. It is an ultra sweet raspberry. I tried this with 16 ounces. I tried it with 20 ounces. I even tried it with 24 ounces. I could not cut down that raspberry taste and I just didn't like it. I'll tell you straight away, I didn't like it. There was no bad aftertaste. There was no chemical taste to it. But the flavoring on here, man, oh man, you better want to be all in on raspberry. And the price point is, as of today, with my code NOFA247, every day of the week, this comes just over a dollar per serving. That's actually a really good price. We're often seeing pre-workouts coming in at 2 and two fifty per serving. So a just over a dollar per serving every day. Great price, especially for that scoop size, and especially knowing that my protein offers crazy sales from time to time. That's going to bring that coupon code up to 50 or even 60% off. So you're going to get this for a dollar or even less per serving. As far as how it handled in the gym, I will tell you it was good. I actually consider this to be a relatively good daily driver. Many people, they want their extreme pre-workouts. But I happen to think that the A-plus workouts are right where your daily drivers are. This caffeine keeps you in check. It wakes you up, but it's not going to really uh, hit you crazy hard. It's not going to impact your ability to do circuits, to do lots and lots of hard training with low, low rest between sets and just high volume. The pumps, the pumps were really good, and I don't know if that was from the sugar or the citrulline matrix. But the pumps were pretty good compared to the number of pump ingredients that are in here. I expected worse pumps and I got better pumps overall. How did I feel at the end of my workouts? I felt pretty good. I got decent workouts throughout the week using this bad boy. I don't think this is a crazy amazing pre-workout. I think this is a good beginner pre-workout daily driver for anyone looking to just get something in that's going to be effective and that isn't going to break the bank. I think for many of you, if you are looking to get summer shredded or you are on a caloric deficit, you want to skip this one because it does have the dextrose and the sugar in there. I really wish they put different forms of carbohydrates than sugar and dextrose, but sometimes you got to go with what you got. Overall, I don't think Eddie Hall had any say with regards to this pre-workout. Just based on the ingredients profile, I have a hard feeling that he just slapped his face on the bottle for that quick money grab. And that's okay with me. I'm not necessarily mad at Eddie for trying to make a buck. I just don't think this is kind of in line with a strong man's pre-workout. As a strong man competitor, I think that it probably should have been de designed slightly different. Overall, if you are looking for a good beginner daily driver pre-workout, this one is it. If you're on a bulk or if you are just looking to put on size, those carbohydrates aren't going to impact you at all. And frankly, they'll probably be a bonus to your performance in the gym. If you came this far in the video, check out myprotein.com. Link is in the description. Check out what the price is today with my code NOFA247. Again, everyday price is going to be like a buck ten per serving. And I think when they run their sales, which they often do, it's going to drop even under a dollar per serving. And that's really where you're going to want to snap it up. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments below. If you came this far in the video, you and I are officially best friends. I love it when people make it to the end of the video. I try to drop in some Easter eggs towards the end to help you kind of give you incentive to stay all the way to the finish line. If you came this far, do me a favor once again, if you haven't already, give this video a like, hit that red subscribe button. As usual, thank you for watching and don't save anything for the trip back.